If you are an out-of-state investor and you are interested in learning about the Cleveland market and then investing in said Cleveland market, you are in the right place. That's what we specialize in today. We are going to be running the numbers on a four-unit apartment building for my man, Paul. Paul, you are an out-of-state investor. This is your first investment into the Cleveland market. Let's jump into the numbers, the details, how the property manager is going to work the whole nine yards right now. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. James Wise here, and I help people like you. Buy Cleveland Real Estate, folks. My team, we do it all for you, all right? Property management, maintenance, construction, insurance, the whole shebang. But it all starts here on this show with analysis. The point is to buy the right property at the right price at the right time with the right financing. Anybody can buy properties, okay? You got to buy them profitably, folks. And that's what I do. I assess properties for you guys, and we make sure the deal makes sense for you before you spend your money. Now, this one, it's a kind of a interesting-looking building. I ain't going to lie. This is a little goofy-looking. But what is nice about this is it's brick siding. That is a great thing. The first thing you need to know about, folks, is the Cleveland real estate market has just recently changed, okay? Brand new laws, brand new lead-based paint ordinances. A lot of the people coming out here from the West Coast, they're probably familiar with this, right? You got those crazy uh, socialistic hubs, right? The, uh, the commie nations, right? People in California know this. People in Seattle, people in Portland, right? All them wokey motherfuckers running around like, ah, we got tight pants and we hate capitalism. Ah, you know what I'm talking about, right? So you're probably used to lead paint certifications, things of that nature. Well, Cleveland just recently passed those types of laws. Not that big a deal in the grand scheme of things. It's nothing to really be afraid of. But what I'm noticing is a lot of people trying to buy in Cleveland are not doing the proper due diligence up front, right? Because these certifications are only required on rental properties and they're not uh, something that would prevent the seller from selling. So what I'm seeing is a lot of sellers selling properties that are not certified. They should be certified. But until your tenant... Uh, has to be evicted more or less, there's really not that much enforcement happening, right? You see, what they're doing is you can't register your rental properties unless they're lead certified, but more importantly than that, you cannot evict your tenants, right? If you try to evict a non-paying tenant, you're not lead certified. Government won't let you do it, right? And that's where most people are getting hit, right? Uh, so what a lot of sellers who don't know about these certifications, or maybe they do, they're just selling their properties to people, and the buyers are not aware of this, and then they might be hit with twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollar lead paint certifications, right? Because the first time you go to do it could be some big costs if your property has two big things: old wood siding, old wood windows, and that is why this one having brick is so great, also has vinyl windows. It's like 95% of the cost. That's part of the reason I chose this property. Very nice, okay? 3521 West 58th, Cleveland, 44102, okay? This property, folks, where did the... One second, let me pull this down. One second, one second, here we go. That's the right one. Nope, nope, no, it's not. Oh, no. Here we go. I'm trying to, there we go. I accidentally clicked the wrong thing. Couldn't see the price. This property, folks, priced at $195,000. Four units, right? A four-unit apartment building. I find the four-unit apartment building to be the best apartment building there is. Better than the two-unit. Better than the three-unit. Much better than the five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve unit. You might be confused now. You might be like, okay, I get why four is better than two. I get why four is better than three. Why is four better than five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve? Financing. Financing is the most important reason to invest in real estate, folks. Try starting a different business where you can get the bank to loan you 75% of the cost of that business over 30 years at a low fixed interest rate. Can't do it, right? Can't open an Epsi shop. Can't do like a Bitcoin trading thing. Can't do it, okay? Real estate, you can do it. But guess what? That financing, 
only works on buildings up to four units. So put two and two together. Four unit buildings are the largest buildings you can get with the good financing. You go up to five, six, seven, eight, nine, you got to get commercial financing, which is nowhere near as nice, right? So I like this property because the lead certification process should be smooth, should be easy, not going to be a big deal. Not going to have to worry about the two big issues, exterior wood siding, wood windows, taken care of. Best type of financing, okay? How about the rent, right? Rent's important. We'll be able to get six seventy-five a unit for all four of these units. So that's twenty-seven hundred, thirty-two thousand four hundred estimate for the year. But folks, I would be remiss if I didn't explain to you there's going to be costs, right? I anticipate having my team manage it, doing everything, making it completely passive for you. It's going to cost you around 16 G's a year, leaving you almost 16 in profit. If we can pick it up at 195, which the market is hot, the market is competitive, I do not suggest going less than that list price. That would be 48,750 out of your pocket. Bank kicks in 146,250 with that beautiful 30-year financing I just talked about. That would be a long-term cash-on-cash return of 18%. Now, just so you're aware, we have three of the four units already occupied, right? This is the vacant unit. Doesn't look like amazing, but we should have no issue getting somebody in there at 675. At the time of getting it ready to rent, putting it on the market for rent, Holton Wise can give you a rent ready bid. Maybe we'll put in a couple bucks to make it appear to be a little bit nicer so we can keep uh, vacancies low. This is a neighborhood that's going to be like D slash C, all right? Uh, you're going to want to put Section 8 tenants into here. Section 8 does the best, but guess what, folks? I got other goodies for you. What I love about this D-grade neighborhood slash C-grade neighborhood, there's no shortage of low-income neighborhoods in the city of Cleveland or the Cleveland market, folks. They are everywhere, okay? They're everywhere. But I find this to be the best, okay? Here is our home right here. Here's our investment. Right now, the price-to-rent ratio has factored in the risk factor of it being a high D, low C, okay? You want to put Section 8 tenants in it right now, right? When you're in these types of neighborhoods, the risk of the tenants losing their jobs, having their car break down, going on a fucking drug bender, you name it, right? Getting in trouble, boyfriends beating the shit out of their girlfriends, going to jail. That kind of stuff happens in these kind of neighborhoods. Welcome to the landlording game. What you can do to alleviate the majority of that risk is get Section 8 tenants. Why? Because the government pays all the time. Lost your job because you went on a freaking four-day booze cruise? Doesn't matter. Section 8 still pays. Car breaks down because you bought a 1986 Toyota Corolla? Don't matter. Government still pays on time. Baby daddy beats the crap out of Kimmy Kim Kim? Don't matter. Government still pays on time, right? So you get that to alleviate your risks. And then long term, you see this right here? This might not look like a lot to you right now. But what that is, that is Metro Health, folks, right down the street. That uh, medical facility is a huge medical facility, huge driver in this economic area. And they have committed a billion dollars to investing in this surrounding area of their campus. Additionally, Regional Transit Authority has uh, kicked off another $60 million in this general area, right? On top of that, if you zoom out a little bit on this map here, okay, you're going to see Tremont, Ohio City, Detroit Shoreway, Edgewater, the Flats, okay? These are the neighborhoods in Cleveland people talk about when they talk about the resurgence of Cleveland. We are basically bordering those neighborhoods. So all the neighborhoods that have already gentrified right to the north of us, downtown, the lake, right to the north of us, and we're getting a billion dollars of investment that should affect the area directly surrounding this house, folks. If you're going to invest in low-income real estate to get the cash flow, Section 8's the way to do it consistently. And if you're going to invest in low-income real estate with the hope of one day gaining appreciation, I suggest you do it in a neighborhood that is bordering all the other neighborhoods that have gentrified that is also receiving over a billion dollars of investment. The only thing you need to do is move quickly. Let me know what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.